societal factors which influence health and safety standards and priorities. Economic climate. Wealthy countries can afford to give occupational health and safety a higher priority than the developing nation's government policy. Those who work tend to be healthier than those who are unemployed. Improving workers' health will help keep people at work, and they can then contribute financially to society. Risk profile. Higher risk activities demand greater standards than those for lower risk activities. Globalization businesses that operate across the world may adopt different standards, depending on the requirements of the host countries. Migrant workers. In recent years, immigration policies have increased the proportion of migrant workers. Societal expectations of equality. Health and safety standards and priorities may include the requirement to make adjustments to the workplace to accommodate workers with disabilities. Corporate social responsibility. The voluntary actions that businesses undertake to address not only their own needs, but also those of the wider society. Significant factors. Economic climate. The wealthiest countries of the world, where individuals have access to the basic necessities for life such as food, clean water, and shelter, have the funding to create and enforce good occupational health and safety, OHS, standards. In countries where individuals do not have these resources, it is inevitable that OHS is given a relatively lower priority. Government policy and initiatives. The government has a major influence on OHS policy through its ability to create legislation. In 2008, the UK government published a document entitled Working for a Healthier Tomorrow, which made the following points. Life expectancy in the UK is higher than ever. Yet millions of working days are lost to work-related illness. Evidence suggests that the working population is healthier than those who do not work. Families without a working member are likely to suffer persistent low income and poverty. Improving the health of the working age population is critically important for everyone to secure higher economic growth and its associated benefits. Level of Sickness Absence in the UK sickness absence is generally lower than it was in the 1990s, but is still substantial, with 175 million days lost to sickness absence each year. Incapacity benefits are paid to those who are unable to work because of ill health or disability. Societal expectations of equality. Health and safety standards and priorities can be determined by changes in society's expectations of equality. In the UK the Equality Act 2010 aims to protect disabled people and prevent disability discrimination. The Equality Act provides legal rights for disabled people in the area of employment, requiring employers to make reasonable adjustments to the workplace to accommodate workers with disabilities. Consequently, acceptable access and egress to a workplace may need to include provision of ramps and lifts in order to comply with these expectations of equality and the legal obligations associated with them. Industry or Business Risk Profile Not surprisingly, higher risk work activities require higher standards of control than those that create lower risks. For example, Nuclear power stations each operate under a site license and demand very rigorous OHS standards. Globalization of business. Many businesses of all sizes operate both nationally and internationally and resolving differences in culture and communication may create different expectations and standards. Migrant workers. As a result of more flexible immigration policies, the proportion of migrant workers in workforces is generally increasing and cultural and communication issues may influence OHS standards. Principle of Corporate Social Responsibility Corporate social responsibility is the term used to describe the voluntary actions that business can take, over and above compliance with minimum legal requirements to address both its own competitive interests and the interests of the wider society. Businesses should take account of their economic, social, and environmental impacts, and act to address the key sustainable development challenges based on their core competencies wherever they operate. Locally, regionally, and internationally. Please like, share, and subscribe for more safety knowledge.